tip 19. Some important tuning parameters for logistic regression. We've got C, inverse of regularization strength, penalty, type of regularization, and the solver, which is an algorithm used for optimization. And here's a little comparison table of the solvers that I pulled from the scikit-learn documentation. So why did I create this tip? Well, people often ask me, which parameters should I tune for a given model to improve performance? And that is an excellent question, and it's not a simple question to answer. Knowing that requires both research and experience. Often the scikit-learn docs will have some good advice, but I just wanted to mention a few parameters that I focus on when tuning logistic regression, which is my first choice for any classification problem. So let's start with C. Logistic regression in scikit-learn is regularized by default, unlike in stats models, for example. And briefly, if you're not familiar with regularization, it's a process that constrains the size of the model coefficients. So you use regularization to minimize a model's overfitting to the training data by reducing the variance of the model. In other words, if you believe a model is too complex, regularization will reduce the error due to variance more than it increases the error due to bias, resulting in a model that overall is more likely to generalize to future data. Anyway, you don't really have to know that to tune C. All you really need to know is that C is a floating point number, it's 1.0 by default, and you increase regularization by making the number smaller. Usually you'll tune it in powers of 10, like 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 1, 10, 100, etc. So that's C. Penalty is the type of regularization. So it's L2 regularization by default. The other options you can use for regularization are L1 and elastic net. Now L2 is the type used by ridge regression, if you've heard of ridge regression. The L2 norm, it shrinks coefficients, but they remain non-zero. L1 is used by lasso regression, or the lasso as it's known, and L1 regularization does shrink coefficients to zero, which is why L1 regularization is used as a form of feature selection. And then elastic net is a combination of L1 and L2, and I usually don't use that, but it's worth noting. Okay. Other thing you can tune is the solver. I mean, there are many more things you can tune, but this is an important one. The solver is the algorithm used to solve the optimization problem of calculating the coefficients. In other words, given a set of features and a target, the solver figures out what coefficients should be used by the model. Now, each solver has different strengths and weaknesses, it has different properties, and it will come up with different results. So it is actually worth trying different solvers. So my recommendation is you look at this chart, you read the documentation to decide which one to use for your particular problem and your particular hardware, and maybe just try each one at least once. You're probably not gonna tune your solver with a grid search because they don't all support the same options. For example, LBFGS is the new default in scikit-learn, I think, 0.22. LBFGS does not support L1. Um, Liblinear does support L1. So the point is, I wouldn't usually put solver in my grid search. I would put C and penalty in my grid search. Regarding solvers, if you're getting warnings about convergence, then yes, you can try to get it to converge. Usually it's just easiest to switch solvers rather than trying to get a solver to work better. These are just some parameters you can tune. There are others you can tune for logistic regression and different ones for every single model, but these are the ones I think about first for logistic regression.